Hi Allure, it's Zara Larson here and today I'm going to show you my quick 10 minute beauty routine. This beauty routine is something that I do basically on an everyday, just to look a little extra fresh. Maybe I'm on a Zoom meeting or something like that, just to feel like myself, but like the better version. We start off with this, I actually got it today, and it's from La Roche Posay. It's to get clean hands. I did wash them before too, but it feels extra nice, especially in these times, to know that I'm really not making a mess of my makeup. And then, I never use primer, honestly. Maybe I should, because I do have some sizable pores, but I just go straight in with a foundation, and I use the IT CC cream. It's like a good coverage for me. So I just start off by applying that to my whole face, and I'll just pick up a little tiny mirror so I can see what I'm doing. I started experimenting with makeup probably in sixth grade or so, um, maybe a bit earlier, just because it was my first introduction to the adult world, to the grown-ups, because grown-ups were wearing makeup. I don't even know what I was feeling. Where, where was I going? School? I think I wanted to feel cool. Looking at this, maybe it's a little too pale. Oh, oh well, we have to bronze it up, and this will do. It will look fine in the end, I promise you guys. And then I go on and move on to the concealer, and this is Tarte. I love it. It's very creamy and it blends really well. Oh gosh, I sound like a makeup girl. So I put this under my eyes so I can trick people into thinking I actually get good sleep. A little bit on the top of my nose, a little bit on my chin, up here. This is also what I'm realizing now, even lighter than my foundation. I haven't seen the sun in a very long time. Blend, 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 blend. And then I like to move on to the good old baking. You see this? I have really crazy eyes. When I laugh and I smile, I do that with my whole face and especially around my eyes. So that's why I like to powder it away so it's like less moist, I guess. Just like fashion and music go really well hand in hand, makeup allows you to express yourself and it allows to show people who you are even you know what your opinions are or who you are as a person before you even open your mouth. And I find that really powerful. I want people to come to my show and look at my clothes and my makeup and think, oh wow, that's so fun, she put in the effort. So I'm gonna start doing that. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in and bronze my face just a little bit, bring some color back into it. It's the classic hula, hula. And I will just put this on. If you want to contour with the bronzer, you start from here, the top of the cheekbones, and then you go down, because that's usually how the shadow lays, which is very smart, from there, and then you just kind of brush it up, brush it up, and then a little bit on your forehead. Okay, oh my gosh, she's alive, look! I think the approach to skincare is, if it's different from America to Sweden, I don't really know, I think, Skincare is quite universal and especially if you follow like beauty pages or um, people who are really interested in such things, Swedes would probably prefer to look like they're not wearing any makeup. And that's why, you know, good for you if you got perfect skin. I have had really, really bad skin throughout all my teenage years and I still get them, very hormonal acne. They still say like, hey, once a month, and then they kind of slow down a bit. So this is me in a good cycle. This is a YSL. Look how pretty that is. Blush illuminator. It illuminates the face a bit. And I just think it looks so nice. And I look really healthy, right? Do, don't I look nice when I wear blush? Next step, we're moving on to the eyes. I have this little thing from Glossier, Sky Wash. So I just go right where, like, right where the hooded part starts, just like the, at the end of my eye. And I put it there, and then I do the same thing on my other. And then I just like to take my finger, honestly. I find it the easiest. And I just pat, 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 pat. Keep it quite low. I don't go up too much. When it comes to style, I've always, just like the rest of the world, looked at Rihanna and said, yes. 
being an artist is not just about you know what you sing and what people hear it's about what you look like and how you present yourself and how you make others feel when they look at you etc now I uh, take the NYX I take that at the end of my eye it doesn't have to be perfect because we're smudging this out anyways and then I go in for this brush it looks like this and that's what I do baby I smudge it out very nice very nice moving on I used to always have a really really big liner and uh, it was definitely a look I think I did it so many times I got super confident with it because that's what it is you just have to be really confident when you make that liner like oh now I'm into doing my eyes exactly like this so this is what I'll do every day and then I'll do that for a couple of months and then I'll find a new technique and then I'll do that so I just do a really natural my brows and this also from NYX I like pens that look like this so there's a lot of brands they do uh, this kind of pen and I just find them to be so easy to work with. It's a little waxy. This one is a micro brown pencil, an ash brown. I'm usually a taupe, but with this one, if I just do it lightly and gentle, I think it fits my shade really well actually. I think it needs to be a little ashy because I don't want red eyebrows. Just like that, just like, hey, nothing too special. I think we're moving on to the highlighter. This one also from Glossier, and it's a highlighter concentrate, pale pearl. So I just put this. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm gonna start to blend this out because if I wait too long, I feel like this will be super stiff and like not easy to work in. And then just blend that one out. So I take it up here and then here. I feel like everybody also did it. You remember when everybody did like their brow bones with a lot of highlighter? I feel like nobody really does that anymore, but I feel like we all should because it's a look. And then I take the same highlighter and I put it on the very middle of my lid. Oh, is that what I say? In the middle, down. And a little bit on my cutie bow and a little bit on the top of my nose. So if you put it a bit on top here, so you just be like, hello, hi, very cute. And then it's mascara time. I used to have really long lashes because I used to put on a serum. I'm gonna use this YSL mascara, but I'm gonna put it on and then I'm gonna blend it out with another mascara. I'm gonna force them to marry each other. So I take this, but with this one, I like to just brush it out because then it blends. The other one's very like thick and voluminous. And this one's a little bit more thin, I guess you could say. I do that a little bit on the bottom lashes too. I do want to go back. Oh, this is like saying it on its last verse with the eyeliner. And just go under my waterline here on top. You can kind of see my waterline and I don't like that. So we're cheating here. Yes. Ma'am, we have lips. I'm using the MAC Soar. And I'm just doing. And on the bottom. Hey, hey, hey. And then I really like this one. It's a lip gloss and uh, it's patent pleasure. It looks like this. And it will look amazing for about 10 minutes on me because I lick my lips a lot. So eventually, if I wear anything on my lips, I have this nasty white line uh, where my lip starts from the inside of my mouth, but I think it's worth it because wearing something on your lips just really finishes the whole look. It makes you look a little bit more glamorous. But this, my friends, is it. I feel like this is a normal girl, like girl next door look like a pretty you know you can wear this wherever like oh me like oh i'm not special i'm just a little cute like i feel pretty in this i know you can take me wherever and i don't have to be ashamed you never have to be ashamed wearing makeup or not but this is just like enhancing my eyes a bit makes my skin look even makes my cheeks pop a bit and it's a nice color on the lips Alora, thank you so much for watching. I had a great time. I hope you learned something. And if you want to teach me something, comment down below. I'll see you next time. Mwah.